If you're in any way engaged in the world, you can't help but clearly understand the nature and the proclivity for global conflict in today's world. There's no more pressing issue in our judgment than the study and potential resolution or reduction of global conflicts. In large part, it's become our mission. Understanding the problem and doing something about it are two different things. It's the doing something about it that is consistent with the Pearsons. That family thinks big. They may have come from a small town in the Midwest, but there is something within them that thinks on a very broad scale. When you give a gift on the scale that the Pearson family is giving, you are connecting with your real values. Our father was a uh, Methodist minister. Our mother was a uh, homemaker raising four sons, but she also found time to uh, teach at the collegiate level. It was not uncommon at all to have other theologians, missionaries, intellectuals, writers come home to dinner. And you can't help but, through that exposure, develop an interest in the world. I think what drives Tim and Tom is a desire to solve a world problem. And they have focused on global conflict. Over the last five to 10 years, Tim and I have had an opportunity to meet and interface with a number of the Nobel Peace Prize laureates. It was a result of that experience and those discussions that we came to realize that individuals can make a, a difference. The Nobel Association was a good fit for the Pearsons. They both share the lofty ambitions of making the world a better place. I think this started in the right place with Nobel as the inspiration. This relationship and partnership that they now have with the University of Chicago is absolutely perfect. When I heard from the Pearsons about this gift, I was blown away. I had no idea they were talking about a gift of this magnitude or something would have this enormous impact. This is an incredible legacy, a legacy of ideas and ideas that will generate new ideas and new solutions to issues that emerge that we can't even imagine today. On behalf of myself and my three brothers, we're very, very gratified with the first steps that are being taken toward the creation of the Pearson Institute. If we change one life, we've been successful. If we change millions of people's lives because of our ability to inform policy, we don't believe that there's any greater legacy as a Pearson family than we can leave for the world.